Anybody who says they don't like taking pictures of their bike is lying. I love doing it. Find that perfect spot, the perfect light. Your mate's gonna love this when you post this online. But it can also be tricky. But what I hate the most is on all these cool photos, you can always see what's holding the bike. So today I'm gonna to fix that using this scrap piece of acrylic. So before I did the actual main attempt, I wanted to just test it, see if I could break or cut the acrylic. So all the research I did online said that you need to like cover and protect the acrylic. Some acrylic when you buy it new will come with like a sheet of plastic to protect it. But if you're using scrap like I am, mask and tape is the way forward. Using a blade, I just cut down the edges just to make them nice and neat. And then repeated the masking on the other side. So like I mentioned a second ago, like this is uh, just the first attempt just to see if I can actually do it. So I just wanted to measure out a straight edge. So I didn't actually believe this would work, but I'm basically just using a sharp blade, so standing knife for this just a like box cutter, um, and just scoring as hard as I can along that line, and then flipping it and doing the same on the other side. I'm gonna link a video below the, um, the explains this better but essentially if now that I've got that line if you clamp down or in my case hold down the smaller edge and then bend the bigger edge the force will give you an, uh, a cleaner snap but in my case without being able to clamp it down this was nearly impossible so in the end I just decided to put it on the floor and just stand on it Yes, I'm as surprised as you that that worked. So now that I knew that this, in theory, could work, I decided to move on to a bigger, better version. Same as before, I just masked up the both sides of the acrylic where I wanted to cut. The dimensions I used uh, a few different places online, I found different dimensions of people that made it before and kind of just picked what I felt seemed like the best one and gave that a go. I'll drop the dimensions of mine down below. And then I got to cutting. I didn't even try to crack it by hand this time, I just went straight to the floor and give it a good stand in again. There's definitely going to be better ways of doing this, but I just, to mimic the triangle up, back up onto the other side, just kind of did a little score on the end and then matched it up. Then some more cutty cutty before I do some snappy snappy. This time I tried putting it down on the floor and standing on it, but it just didn't feel like it was going to go in the right direction. Uh, so I actually then got the spirit level and used that as like a hard edge to kind of snap it up against and it worked. I wanted to make like a, a groove at the top to kind of go in the bottom bracket or the wheel wherever I end up putting this stand. Uh, so I just freehanded a nice curve uh, and then used a little hacksaw that luckily I had knocking around to cut it out. I don't seem to have footage of this but I then went down the edge of it with the, the hacksaw I couldn't go all the way long so I just kind of did little chunks into it and then snapped it off like this with some pliers. Um, surprisingly this worked quite well but it did leave a pretty messy edge. And there we have it, one very messy looking stand. Uh, I'm not finished yet, uh, but although it is currently as messy as my desk so eh, kind of fits my life. I decided to give it a bit of a polish up before I finished the edges just to see how clear it got 
uh, and it was pretty good. I was really happy with it. So the next day I got back to it, uh, remasked the whole acrylic, cut it all down, uh, and then got to polishing up the edges. I used a sander with some pretty heavy uh, sandpaper on it to kind of get the really rough edges off and back to kind of a nice smooth flat surface. Then using some wet and dry uh, 800 grit I think I started off with. I also used uh, some 250 or 2500 is what I'm trying to say and also some 3000 grit uh, as well. Now, I'm very impressed with how this came out. This was one of those projects I started thinking, well, this is gonna be crap. Um, there's lots of mistakes, like this cut line here, uh, and there's a bigger one further down as well on this side. So it's not perfect. Um, and the edges are pr pretty green. They're not as transparent as I hoped. Um, so I'm starting to think maybe this isn't uh, like completely acrylic, maybe it's something else. I don't know. If you if you know more about acrylics and maybe what I should have used, uh, please comment below uh, so I can get some better. And I'm going to give this another go. If you saw my last video, you actually would have seen or maybe not seen the stand because uh, I used it for that uh, trip. Uh, it works really well. Uh, it was super windy this day, as you know if you saw the last video. So actually, it fell down a couple of times. But if it was a normal day, it works really well. Holds the bike up and you can nearly not see it. But like I mentioned before, the greening on the edge did annoy me quite a lot. And I've not actually used this again since. This is a great example of how bad it is. But hey, it worked pretty well. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and hello to all my new subscribers. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, maybe today is the day to do it. Being Christmas week, the next video is going to be a bit of a short one. It's just going to be a bit of a bike check showing you what bikes I have ready to start in the new year. So subscribe, like, leave a comment, say hi.